Today I'm going to be talking about how to find hydrostatic pressure. And in this particular example, we've been given a rectangular tank, which is two meters wide, three meters deep, and five meters long, and it's completely full of water. In this video example, we're gonna go over how to find hydrostatic pressure on the bottom of the tank, number one here, and then I'm going to link to a second video about how to find hydrostatic force if you wanna learn how to find hydrostatic force on the bottom of the tank and also against one end of the tank. So as I said, in this video, we're gonna find hydrostatic pressure. This formula here is actually a simplified version of the formula for pressure. And the pressure formula normally tells us that we're looking for the force per unit area. So pressure is equal to force per unit of area. That's also equal to pressure, fluid pressure, times gravity times density. In this case, we're talking about water in a tank. And when we're dealing with water, we know that the pressure is 1,000 kilograms per square meter. We know that G for gravity, the gravitational constant, is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can just combine those two and we get this simplified version of the formula, which is essentially just density times depth. And when it's water that we're dealing with, we always know that the density is 62.5. So we can just multiply density times depth. And again, we get the 62.5 because we already know the pressure of water and the gravitational constant never changes. So we just call the density 62.5 and then we multiply by the depth. If you're dealing with another fluid other than water, then you may need to calculate a different density. But 62.5, for the density of water it takes into account the pressure and the gravitational constant. So we just need to multiply 62.5 times the depth. And in this case, the depth is three meters because we've been asked to find the hydrostatic pressure on the bottom of our tank and our tank is three meters deep. We may have been asked to find the hydrostatic pressure two meters underwater, in which case that wouldn't be the bottom of the tank. It would be two meters deep and our depth would be two here instead of three but the bottom of our tank is three meters deep and so we have three here. So the pressure at the bottom, the hydrostatic pressure at the bottom of our tank is 187.5 and this is pounds per square foot. So pounds per square foot. So that's how you find pressure when you're dealing with water. You multiply 62.5 times the depth. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to find hydrostatic force on the bottom of the tank and hydrostatic force against one end of the tank. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.